Ayan. And now guys, it's time for our session number six. Ayan. Session number six na po tayo, which is about the use of ABC model in answering your PNLE questions. So, I know that we are all familiar with the ABC model. No, since first year, tinuro to sa atin. Basically, it's the airway, breathing, and circulation pattern in health emergencies. Okay, it's not only used in nursing okay, as a concept, but it is also used generally in uh, health. Okay, in health education and also in allied uh, health, no? Allied health concepts such as your medicine as well in your uh, midwifery, uh, also in other concepts. So, most students miss this model when answering prioritization questions, particularly in subjects like med surge, okay? In your medical surgical nursing concept, okay, we often forget that airway breathing circulation uh, model can be used in answering uh, questions. So as you see, for example, in your NP3 to NP5 questions in your uh, PNLE, okay? So now, uh, specifically, or such as say, for example, when you are an ER nurse, immediately think of cues on things that are uh, needed to be prioritized. So as you say, for example, your airway, okay? Then kung wala po yung airway, then that's the time we will proceed to the next um, the next part of the pattern, which is your breathing. And then the last part will be your circulation. Okay? So basically, again, it's your A, B, C. When you say A, airway, B for breathing, and then C for circulation. Alam nyo, familiar din kayo dito kasi ginagamit din to in our basic life support trainings, no? Or in your basic life support concept. And that's very, very true. Okay? So... I will be giving you here some example, and this session will be very short. I think this will be the shortest, okay? As we all know this thing, the pattern of your ABC or your airway breathing and circulation pattern. Okay, so let's have an example question here. A patient was rushed to ER due to hyperventilation, okay? Mabilis da yung paghinga ng pasyente natin, no? And cyanotic, okay? So nagkaroon siya ng cyanotic appearance, now, the patient has wheezes, yeah, and that's a pathognomonic sign there, and it's known to be asthmatic. Actually, you're wheezing, kapag nakikita mo yung wheezing, most of the time, particularly, no, the question should be about asthma. What should be the first nursing action? I will be highlighting this one. What should be the first nursing action? Yeah. So, simply lang, may isang pasyente daw na dinala, okay, na mabilisan sa ER dahil nag-hyperventilate at nangingitim, okay? So, the patient has wheezes. Ayan, may additional cues pa po tayo. Yun po yung mga cues. So, when I say cues, those are your signs and symptoms or those are your markers which gives us the real situation. Okay, may hyperventilation, may cyanosis, may wheezes. Tapos sinabi pa, known asthmatic. Actually, kahit hindi sabihin na known asthmatic ang pasyente mo, you should know by now that the patient is asthmatic, okay? What should be the first nursing action? A. Provide oxygen support immediately. Letter B. Start IV infusion quickly. Letter C. Prepare epinephrine. Letter D. Start aerosolization. Okay. Baka matoxic na tayo dito. Guys, this question is actually level 1 question to. This talks about your knowledge. But of course, this needs our critical thinking over here. Okay. Now, this is the right time for us to use the ABC model Okay, in healthcare. Okay, so let's um, identify each question, I mean each item, whether they are of airway, they are of breathing, and they are of circulation. Okay, letter A, provide oxygen support immediately. Oxygen, oxygen, when you think of oxygen, we're giving that because of, ayan, that is for breathing. Okay, that is for breathing of the patient. So letter B, breathing. Letter A, that's breathing. Letter B, start IV infusion quickly. Intravenous infusion. So that's what we call as your. Okay, that's an intervention for your circulation. Okay, so letter B is circulation. Letter C, prepare epinephrine. Epinephrine. What's the use of epinephrine here? Okay. The use of epinephrine here is, of course, dalawa yan. 
Okay? That's also for relaxation of your airway and that's also no, for uh, the pumping of the heart. So, however, we need to uh, take note here that your epinephrine, okay, that your epinephrine is an end or the last resort in healthcare emergencies. We need to remember that one. Okay, so letter D, start aerosolization. So when we say start, start aerosolization, what I'm trying to say here, most of the time, guys, students would not answer those uh, options that they don't know. But that's actually something that's in reverse. Okay, most of the time, those things that you don't know are actually, okay, most of the time, those are the correct options. So, alam natin letter A, that's breathing. Letter B, that's circulation. Letter C, prepare epinephrine. That could be an airway, that could be in circulation, however, that's the last resort. Letter D, start aerosolization. That's actually, um, ang ibig sabihin po nito, okay, you will start aerosolizing the patient or yung mas familiar tayong term dito is your nebulization, okay? By use of your bronchodilators such as your um, salbutamol, ipratropium, okay? So the best answer for this one, guys, is of course, the patient has visas and it's known as matic. You need to start aerosolizing to open the airway, okay? Airway po ang priority natin dito. Most of the time, students here, Fail to, go, fail to get the right answer because they immediately think. Hirap sa paghinga yung pasyente. Okay? So, kailangan ng oxygen. Tapos, sinamahan pa ng term na immediately. But, take note of this one, guys. Okay? You cannot, or the patient cannot actually get the right amount of oxygen kung hindi po open ang kanyang airway. The very reason why meron tayong wheezes, it's because that airway is too narrow, okay? Okay? So, ibig sabihin, inflamed or nagkakaroon ng bronchospasm ang ating airway. So, that's the very reason why nagkakaroon ng wheezes. Hence, hindi po makakadaan ang oxygen. But, let's put uh, something in the question na kung saan mag-iiba yung question. So, I have added here some additives no, in the question itself. What if ganito yung maging tanong? A patient was rushed to ER due to hyperventilation and cyanotic appearance. The patient has wheezes and is known to be asthmatic. After opening the airway, what should be the next nursing action? So that's the time wherein D would be wrong. Start aerosolization, sinabi na nga after opening the airway. So ibig sabihin you already did the option letter D. That's why it's already wrong. So the best answer for these ones is of course to open or to, I mean, or to provide oxygen support to our patient, okay? So that's the ABC pattern. That's how we use or how we utilize the ABC pattern in answering your PNL questions, okay? So let's have another example here, a more complex uh, example. Three patients was simultaneously brought to ER. Sabay-sabay daw silang, uh, I mean, uh, dinala. Okay, while you were on duty, which of the following patients should be prioritized? Okay, so letter A, a 45-year-old a man with 3 inches hacking wound, consistently bleeding, yell, yells and is drunk. So, ibig sabihin, uh, may sugat, okay, tapos nagbibilid si patient consistently and is yelling sumisigaw at nakainom pa. Letter B, 6-year-old dehydrated patient who eagerly drinks. Dry skin is noted, weak but responsive. Letter C, 43-year-old uh, on a wheelchair, suspected to have swallowed her dentures at sleep and doesn't want to lie on bed. Letter D, a 12-year-old boy who cries in pain after falling from 2 meter and is suspected uh, to have a fracture in lower arm. So, most of the time, your answers would be letter A because dumudugo, no? So, actually, uh, let's try to a label each of the options no? so that we would know what um, what in the ABC model are they falling into. Okay, so letter A, let's try to analyze. That's actually circulation. That's focusing. The problem of the patient is focusing on circulation. Okay, may three inches hacking wound, tapos may bleeding. Ayan, bleeding is simply circulation. Letter B, most of the time also, or majority, would be answering this one kasi who may dehydration, bata pa, weak, but is responsive. Okay, now, remember that 
when the term eagerly drinks in dehydration is there, remember that it is moderate dehydration, okay? So letter B is talking about circulation. Letter D, may fracture, posible, no? Meron tayong bleeding din dito. It could be internal or external. Hindi naman sinabi if the fracture is open or closed, okay? So again, it talks about circulation. Now, letter C, medyo ito yung pinaka-chillax among the patients, but remember, meron tayong very important cues here. On wheelchair yung pasyente, suspected to have swallowed her dentures at sleep. So, ibig sabihin, naswallow niya raw yung kanyang um, dentures or yung kanyang uh, pustiso. However, we are not still sure. Okay? And doesn't want to lie on bed. Ibig sabihin, hindi niya gustong nakahiga. Probably, it's because nahihirapan siya kapag nakahiga, nahihirapan siyang huminga kapag nahiga. That's why he doesn't want to lie on bed. Remember that the patient is just on wheelchair. So, ibig sabihin, the patient is probably, okay, having difficulties in breathing na uh, we still don't know here, but the cues is there kasi hindi niya gustong humiga. Okay? So, there is a problem now on airway. Okay? So, the best answer for this one, actually, this is a level 4 question for the PNLE. What I'm trying to say is that ang severity at ang hirap ng question na to is level 4. So, the best answer for this one is, of course, you answer letter C. Okay? Ayan. So, we're now trying to exercise our minds, okay, utilizing this um, technique here. Let's have another example. When caring for adult patients in the ward, which of the following conditions should be given the highest priority? Okay. Letter A, anorexia nervosa. Letter B, myxedema. Letter C, Parkinson's disease. Letter D, epiglottitis. Ayan. So, possibly, no? Uh, we will be talking about, or we will be thinking about, siguro yung myxedema because uh, it may lead to myxedema coma. Ayan. So, dito, yung, we need the knowledge and we also need the critical thinking here. We use the ABC model and we will be very... Uh, happy with the results because we will land in successfully okay into the correct option. So let's try to analyze yung bawat isang option. Letter A, anorexia nervosa. That's actually circulation. Letter B, pneumonia, that's breathing. Tuberculosis problem also is breathing. Epiglottitis, yes, breathing, breathing problem din yan. However, you need to remember that your epiglottis is actually the structure between your um, digestive system and your respiratory system that flops, okay? Whenever kung open yung ating digestive tract, it's the airway that's closed, okay? Kapag closed naman yung ating digestive tract, yung airway naman yung closed. So now dito, you need to remember that your epiglottitis is not functioning well because it is swollen, okay? Meron tayong... Uh, swelling in your epiglottis. So, mayroon tayong consideration, and the highest consideration that we will be putting here is that the patient is, okay, possibly magkaroon ng airway obstruction. So, the priority here is, of course, the best answer for this one, okay, is letter G. Okay? You need to remember that one. Okay? So, I know you have those questions in your mind. So, is the model applicable Applicable all the time? The answer is no. In OB nursing, always think for the baby as the highest priority during pre- and intrapartum. However, while postpartum, the mommy is the priority. That's why we take note for ble bleeding, bleeding and um, uterine atony. We are trying to prevent that one to occur. Okay? So, carefully treat each question with tactfulness to avoid the misuse of the technique. Okay, so just like what we did in our examples, we are trying to uh, carefully distinguish whether it is airway, breathing, and circulation so that we would be able to land into the most correct answer. And so thank you for being with me in this session. See you guys on our next session. And that would be your session number seven.